Hey, hello friends. Uh, I have with me uh, Dr. Karthik. Karthik has gotten rank one in ENESs and uh, AIMS SS GI surgery, and uh, I think it's a great moment for him because uh, we are at his home home place. We are at uh, Maulana Azad Medical College, talking to him, the place where he did his undergraduate and postgraduate in surgery. So uh, it's a great moment for the entire surgeons team, and uh, hopefully for Dr. Karthik too. So, Dr. Karthik, how do you feel today? sir it's an amazing feeling i cannot describe in words actually <clears throat> you know uh, when i saw my result and uh, i saw my roll number in front of the rank one i was like how can god be so grateful to me uh, how this has happened i was still i was in a state of shock actually and i still cannot believe that yes it's me only who has got rank one so it's it, the feeling is tremendous definitely because because i mean uh, anybody can get a seat it's not a it's not a it's 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 a common thing a lot of people get it but there is something very special about rank one the entire uh, feeling of being on top of the world and i think that's a great feeling uh, and i think uh, you should cherish this moment and uh, how do your parents and your yeah, family feel about so it my, my parents are extremely happy they are uh, they are like that uh, now uh, the career of um, uh, their son has is uh, now settled actually i think it's I a great feeling yes, so dr kartik tell me more about yourself Where did you do your schooling? Where did you do your under graduation, post graduation, everything? So, sir, uh, I did my schooling from uh, a, from a school which is near to my place only. It's the name is Lila Vati Vidya Mandir. So I studied till tenth there, and then for eleventh and twelfth I moved to Saint Stephen's School in Delhi itself. Okay. After that, I took coaching from Akash Institute. Okay. And I had to drop uh, during my UG day, UG days. Uh, so I did a one year drop. I passed out twelfth into twenty eleven. Okay, twenty eleven and uh, one year dropped, and then twenty twelve I got admitted into this hospital, Maladhar Devi College and Loknay Hospital. So I did my under graduation from here. Mm, it was from twenty twelve to twenty seventeen. Okay. After that, in first attempt, I got seat in general surgery mm -hmm. here only, Mamsi. So the batch was twenty eighteen to twenty twenty one, and uh, after that, uh, uh, twenty 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 one it was July twenty twenty one when I finished my MS general surgery. After that, I rested for like one month and then started preparing for JSS. Uh, JSS preparation, yes, sir. So it took me around six to eight months to crack a seat to get rank one at. Why JSS surgery? Did uh, your general surgery uh, training in MAMC play a role, or was there any other uh, mentor or influencer who pushed you to take JSS surgery? So, sir, I I always wanted to be a doctor. From class seventh, I had decided that I'll be a doctor. and uh, since my family doctor was a surgeon so i was more interested towards the you know surgery part that is yes, i'll i'll open and i'll see you i i i like i wanted to explore the body actually human mm -hmm. body so uh, in when i joined uh, pg so people used to ask me why didn't you go for ortho i was getting orthopedic in mamsi only i did not opt for it so people asked me why do you want to do general surgery and why not orthopedic so you know i had a i had this thing in my mind that It is uh, better to play with bowel rather than bones. Oh, absolutely! So I always wanted to play I with mean, the bowel. I mean, with no offense to orthopedic surgeons, no, exactly. no offense to orthopedic no. surgeons. I, 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 you know, so I was asked the same question, and uh, I was kind of interested in ortho when I was uh, in in, in an internship. And my old department in Kilpak Medical College, you know, the the assistant professors, the CPGs who had become assistants at that point of time, they were like, "Hi, Vinay, you are joining uh, ortho in our department." I was like, "No, I mean." Uh, I decided I wanted to be a surgeon, not a carpenter. Yes, <laughs> I mean, again, no, my ortho, not. my orthopedic friends, my you know, really take offenses, but that I was just kidding. Yeah. But I can understand the feeling totally. It's better to play with bowel than bones. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that was the main influence. And then why GI surgery? Like, was it a natural progression of general surgery, or did any uh, specific person? Sir, you know, I wanted, as I said, I wanted to play with bowels. Yeah. Then I wanted to be a super specialist, uh, super specialist in that branch. So that is my GI surgery. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. So, are you excited about joining AIMS? Yes, I'm very excited. I'm the just, most discounting because you're joining. Yeah, so you're joining on July first, right? Yeah, first July. Sir. So, are there any uh, mentors? Uh, Or your gurus, whom you would like to thank during this part. part of sir, the, the, the n number of people, sir. I, the, the list goes on for long and long. But uh, a few people I would like to thank. I would like to thank my firstly my family doctor who you know helped. You me. can tell his name also, Doctor Alok Agrawal. He is currently practicing in Delhi only. Okay. So, and uh, then my guide here, Doctor Deepak Gulyani in Mamsi. He has also always helped me a lot. And Doctor S K Jain. 
and uh, thirdly the the videos the videos i have seen of dr venkatesh mahadevan dr samrat dantar and dr prasanna these people have explained the general gi surgery part extremely beautifully right they have made it so easy that even if you have not read shackle folders doom guard you can definitely get the grasp absolutely of absolutely i would like to thank on those people i'm sorry if i missed anyone but yes the list goes long true true so uh did search this play a role in your preparation definitely sir sir uh, for uh, for question bank i was searching for, uh, i was looking for options actually and i did not get anything then one of my friends told me uh, about this app and uh, he's uh, he's also actually rank 3 in i think dr oh. sanjam jot singh he is also a search test user so he told me that there's this app you can use and you can get a lot of questions there are there so i took the general surgery and gi surgery question bank from search test wow. the questions were so you know uh, the questions are actually of the aims level i can say that uh, the questions uh, the, the the difficulty part the easy easy questions the difficult questions the, plus the explanations all are the well taken care of so uh, i would say definitely such steps only helped me to crack the mcqs so the concept the 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 art of asking the questions which aims uses search test already has it <laughs> i'll take it as a compliment uh because uh, dr gopi and i spent a lot of time in the initial days framing the mcq so it's a it's a i would say it's a huge personal validation for the entire search test team uh when dr karthik and every top ranker you know talks about the mcqs uh karthik how was your study schedule how how did you plan your day i mean you are preparing full time but how did you plan your day and how did you manage to maintain focus in this era of instagram reels and facebook shorts so, so, i mean this is this is a question which a lot of people do yeah, ask me why mere se padha nahi jata i can't sit for 2 hours or 1 hour you know and sit together because i am distracted by social media everything how did you manage to maintain focus and how did you plan your day so since i did not join anything i did not join a search by you are preparing for full fledge for this this thing only so i used to start my day off at around 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, so i used to firstly in the i i divided my time in three parts first part was the uh, i i used to read new things for the, the things which i have not read in the second half uh, in the second part i used to revise the things which i have read before in the third part i used to do mcqs so i used to do at least 100 250 mcqs daily okay it was it was like a daily schedule for on the app on the app on the app or i have one this one book also for uh, gsa uh, preparation yeah yeah kan kan ah uh, it's a good book yeah so i i used to sol- uh, solve at least 100 to 150 questions from any of the sources okay hmm. uh and after that uh, when my course was finished so i had uh, there's a very good option of bookmarking in uh, search test so what are the difficult question is or the wrong question i used to book, book, bookmark those question and i used to revise those questions daily Okay. So, yeah. So I had bookmarked around a thousand questions out of two thousand. Thousand questions. Almost half of it you had bookmarked. Yeah. So I, I, you know, just scrolled through those questions one day before my exam. So, And you, uh, it did, uh, did, did recalls come from the uh, this thing? Yes, sir. Actually, this was this question. Uh, uh, liver splitting. Who did the first? Yeah, liver yeah, splitting yeah. Pickle mayor. Yeah, yeah. Pickle mayor. That yeah. question came after. It was from your app only. Uh, so this was my basic schedule. i used to follow this and uh, if one has to crack any exam any entrance exam one should do mcqs i would say because uh, everybody knows the knowledge, uh, the theory theory part you know how to apply that knowledge into the mcqs is very difficult true, true, and true. you will learn it through practice only absolutely so kartik uh, i think i have you know kind of taken a lot of your time and you should be celebrating but one last question your when you join jsa reach an absolutely great specialty where do you see yourself 10 years down the line what do you want to be doing so 10 years down the line uh, i want to be a delhi top most jsa surgeon <laughs> in the town and uh, my aim is to you know uh, pay government in income tax in eight digits so let's see i think that's happens. a very lofty ambition you know uh, karthik uh, for one he reminds me of ms dhoni the the the, the focus he has the uh the kind of you know uh the way he talks about his ambitions and i think that's a very very right way to go and it's been a great pleasure meeting you karthik i think uh, i think i wish you all the best thank you and i wish you inspire a lot more people to take up gi surgery it's a great specialty with a huge amount of prospect and he's doing it in the best institute in the whole country all india institute and we wish him all the best thank you so much